This is your boy Chef coming from the Gundam Kitchen doing our first vlog. Today we got in a bunch of stuff from Japan. So I had to pull out my fresh new uh, Xeon hat. Really like this from Cospa. Don't usually get too much apparel from uh, Japan because it's super expensive. But we did get a bunch of accessories, kits. It's going to be nice. So I'm going to take you through that stuff. Hopefully later today my shipment from my U.S. distributors is going to come in. So I have some more Gundam product. And I went by Vulcan this morning to grab uh, some accessories. They were sold out of the guns I needed. So I'll be back there probably next week to grab some more airsoft guns. So look out for that stuff too. Now, of course, it's called the Gundam Kitchen and we specialize in Gundams. But I do try to get a bunch of cool stuff from uh, Japan. You know, keep a little variety in here. Bandai makes great model kits, but there's also Kotobuki putting out some killer stuff. And they pick up a lot of the stuff that Bandai doesn't do. So you got your uh, Zoids, which is a real hit. We got some uh, Good Smile product over here. And you got your Mega Man, Zelda. Got Umaro and a big old plushie. I'm sure I said that wrong. Yeah, the Zoids figure. These are really nice. It's from the newer series. Got some Gate keychains. They'll probably be sold out this week. People love those. We got a resin kit from Goren Logan. You cannot find too much stuff out there to build from that series. Probably nothing to build from that series except for this. And being resin, of course, it's super expensive. Has to be painted. Bunch of little pieces in there. Some instructions. Luckily, they give you some eyes that are water slides, it looks like. So, should come out pretty nice. The new uh, Evangelion from Nanoblocks. I saw one of these built last week at our potluck. It looked great. So, I would get on that. Here's something you usually can't find in the U.S. at too many spots. You got your uh, Matt Cross from the newer series. Here's another one. And then the extra rocket set. Bunch of Zoids came in. So we got uh, some armors for different loggers. We got your masterpiece with the new uh, walking motion. Things a beast. Hanser came in. Mass and Kaiser, I've seen this kit built. Looks great. If you're tired of building Gundams, some nice stuff coming from Armor Core. And you have uh, Muv Love suits. They definitely have their own unique look. And, you know, break up your uh, building Gundams all day long. <laughs> Some mini, mini Matt Cross sets. Alright, so as you can see, the Gundam selection is not nuts, but it is a nice little bit. What I try to do is get the stuff that I can't get in the U.S. Or some of the stuff that is just hitting in Japan if it's during the time of my order and won't be in the U.S. for another couple of weeks. So I don't think that the today when this video is out, some of my competition doesn't have the scramble yet. But the bad side of this is I pay a lot more bringing it from Japan. So probably for about a week or two, I'm going to charge a dollar or two more on all these new Bill Fighter kits that aren't really in the U.S. yet. And I had to pay premium price for them. And then when I get my regular shipment in, I'll be right in line with the rest of the competitors. But, you know, you can see some stuff. I don't think this Barbados may or may not be in the stores. And then, you know, some rare stuff like this Hobby Japan. You're not going to find this in too many spots. Comes with a little kit with it. I believe that one's clear. And those are a nice little size. They're fun. Then I get some of these old school kits, which you really aren't going to find in too many spots. And what's cool about these is that a lot of these kits have never been made. It's a regular high grades. The only way to get them is the old ones. So they're really simple builds. Usually they need paint. But they're, you know, if you can make this look like a, a regular high grade, you got skills. So it's a nice little challenge. 
also grab this 160th full armor, which is another one. I mean, this is going to be relatively cheap. And you got a 160th. And I'm sure it has like doo doo articulation, but you know, you can mess around, battle damage them up, make them look real fly, and you didn't pay very much. Of course, I got the Hakushiki back in. This one's kind of hard to find in the U.S. for right now, at least in my distributors. And that finish on that thing is gorgeous. Sold through the ones I had before, so to make sure I had some a couple of people were asking about them. These new Universal units. Um, this is the original set that just came out a little while ago. Yeah, that one just came in. Gunham Converge. Yeah, this one's nice. Big old full armor. Got a bunch of SDs in that are pretty hard to find in the U.S. Now, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, SDs are corny. But, A, some people like that cute little look. And another thing is, or B, these are great to practice on. Most of them are under $10. You can practice crazy paint jobs on them, practice all types of stuff. And, you know, you didn't spend a lot of money to practice. Here's some other rare stuff you're not going to find too much in the U.S. Gunplug Builder G. If you guys haven't seen it, check it out. You can find it online usually. Um, it's the predecessor to Bill Fighters. So you got some pretty cool stuff in there, especially this uh, Super Customs Aku thing. It's enormous. I'll grab that for you. You know, a couple age kits here. You don't see those too often. And then just a little bit of a uh, master grade. Okay. All right, we got a bunch of builders' parts in this shipment. Got some great effects in 144 and 1100. Then we got some scopes. Put in there for your optic lenses. A couple different styles of spikes. 1100s, 144s. Different style. Got some vents. Got some different uh, thrusters. I thought this was kind of fun. We got a whole little team of uh, MS figures, little workers for you. So if you're doing a diorama, maybe in the hangar, this would be perfect, or buy a tank or something like that. Nope, oh, don't show you that yet. That's a hotness. All right, we got some emblems. Nice big reliefs. I guess they'd probably be better for 1-100. Yeah, some new swords. Another sword pack. All right, now let's get to the new Kotobukiya stuff. Got uh, some type of rail, beam cannon maybe. Got some nice little parts right here. Crazy sword. I know you guys know what these are. These are light-up beam sabers that just came out. So I got red, and I got about six green ones. So get them while I got them. I'm hoping to get some from uh, Kotobukiya USA, but if not, this might be it for a while. All right, got some cheapy nippers for our beginners. These are from Mr. Hobbies. The Q-tips help with your paint. And then a bunch of Gundam markers. Wish I had this when I was building a Sananju. See if this red would match up since it's a... Uh, a metallic red. We got the gold. I've been missing that for a while. Nice blue. Two different blues. Got the electric, regular blue. You got your Xeon green here. Gundam blue, the dark blue. Black. Pretty hard to find this one. So I have to get that separate. White. Uh, I'm not a fan. Tried it before. Doesn't seem to cover that well, but you know, let me know if anybody's had good luck with that one. Got your fine uh, tip brown. Fine tip black, whole box of them. Fine tip gray. Your pore type, big fan of those. 
should give them a shot if you're not using them yet. Got the original Gundam marker set, and then the new Barbados one, which I swear is just a repackage and it's the same colors. I think I'd be kidding me, they think they're not. Then you got the fine tips and Gundam markers with some, you got the interest in pink there, so that's different. You got your Xeon set, and then a set of Real Touch. Now, this one's interesting because I didn't know there was even a black Real Touch marker, which that could be nice for doing some shadowing and stuff. Um, you can see on my Sananju follow up that I'm hitting it with the brown Real Touch and uh, doing my shadowing in brown because brown and red go together well. And then uh, that pink, that's unique. So that's a, it's an interesting set. All right, so that's wrapping up what we got in so far today, from Japan at least. Hopefully my uh, U.S. distributor shipment will come in today, and I'll throw that up too. But I just want to get this out to you guys as quick as possible because I know people are going to be running down for some of this stuff. If you're in the South Jersey area, you got to check out my store. It's pretty unique. I don't think you can find anything else in at least 50 to 100 miles. Probably not to really California. There's not too much even going on in New York. But we're down in South Jersey, so Philly's not much of a drive. Suburbs of Philly. I get people from coming up from Delaware all the time. I get people from as far as Maryland. And, you know, when Canadians go on vacation, I even had some of them come down from Canada. So it's all love in here. Come by. You can build, hang out, watch anime on the TV. You know, if you're not all about Gundam, I got other stuff. So check that out, too. We got the figures back there. We have uh, Kotobu Kia kits and a couple other kits. I even have, you know, a little bit of military, a little bit of cars. Got the Mini Zs. Got the Airsoft. So check us out when you get a chance. Um, if you're online only, I really don't ship overseas. I can do some shipping in the U.S., so I do have the website, thegundamkitchen.com. Check that out. Uh, I have it set up there so you can buy online uh, through PayPal. But you can also hit me up in this, you know, if you want to get it right away. Like, yo, I need that right now. I saw it in your video. Um, just I can invoice you through PayPal. We can try to make it work. And that's about it. You know, follow me on Instagram and Facebook, thegundamkitchen.com.